Carbon monoxide detectors are also in the units and they can have battery issues as well occasionally, uh, like a smoke detector. So if you hear a chirping sound and you think it's your smoke detector and you change your smoke detector battery and you still hear something chirping, the proximity of these two are so close together, it's really confusing sometimes to know which one's happening. So if you know that that one's been changed and you need to do your carbon monoxide detector, which could either look like that or it could look like that, with this particular kind, you just lift it up off the mount and it has the AA batteries that are right in the back. So you just switch those out. There's not too many of these, but if you see one, that's all you have to do. The other type is this, and it's gonna be mounted on the ceiling or on the wall. And the way to access the batteries on this one is the way this line is running, go to the sides of it and squeeze in, and that's what releases the hinge so that you can access the battery. Now this one hasn't been removed yet, but it's the same deal. Just pull the battery out, make sure that it's lined up the right way, pop it back in, and close it. One other point I wanted to make about uh, the smoke detectors and the carbon monoxide detectors is if you do get a chirping battery at some time during the night, one o'clock in the morning, and you don't want to listen to it, these have a silence mechanism too that you can actually press it, which is kind of like a test button, but it is also silence it for a couple hours. And then the smoke detectors as well, um, the test button on those can also be uh, as a silence button. So if it's chirping, just press that, that test button, also slash silence button, and you'll get, you might get four to eight hours of silence until the battery has to be replaced.